I'm really excited to introduce Cloud Extend Excel for NetSuite's new burst mode upload. Now, this is something that you can use optionally. So you have two choices now. You have the ability to use our standard upload mode, which is great for small batches, say uploading 100 sales orders or 50 vendor bills, et cetera. Or if you have a real large number of transactions, say a few thousand sales orders, vendor bills, or you're updating your uh, you know, thousands of records at once inside of NetSuite, or creating one large record, like a 5,000 line sales order. Yes, 5,000 lines. You can actually do that in Excel and then push that up to NetSuite. That's really where the burst mode upload really comes into play and it's gonna serve you well. So cutting to the chase, you know, who's really gonna use the burst mode upload? Well, if you're submitting large complex batches that NetSuite can't process in the one to two minutes that are required for communicating between Excel and NetSuite, it's one minute on a Mac, by the way, and two minutes on a PC. Burst mode is great. So if you've gotten timeouts in the past on specific jobs that you're uploading, use burst mode. If you have other sets of data that you want to upload using Cloud Extend Excel for NetSuite, you can now upload multiple batches, one behind each other, and they can all be processing in the background in NetSuite. So you no longer have to wait for each batch to finish before you can now push another one up. So if you've got, say, a thousand sales orders, go ahead and click the button. Those thousand sales orders will be processed in NetSuite. And while that's happening, you can also submit journal entries, vendor bills, et cetera. You could even close Excel if you wanted to. The next time you log into Cloud Extend, all the results will be there waiting for you to download. So you'll see a little icon that flashes letting you know that you have new results. Click that button and everything flows down into Excel in just seconds. So we really think this is a great app. Why don't we just take a quick look at it now? So here I've got uh, nine sales orders that I want to push up to NetSuite and they're taking about uh, 700 and some odd lines. And then one really large uh, 900 or 1,000 line journal entry here that I want to push up to NetSuite as well. So let's go ahead and look at the new background upload. I'm going to go ahead and click on update. And I'll check this new box right here. And you can click on learn more and that'll take you uh, to our support site. You can learn a little more about it. But click on that. And in this case here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on upsert all records. And you'll see just like that, the entire batch has been submitted to NetSuite and now it's gonna be performed in the background. Uh, and I can come over to journal entries now and I can go through the same process. I can click on update, use the new background upload and upsert all records. And you'll see that we're going to take that journal entry and push that view as well. And that'll be super fast. And the sales orders will be processed and the journal entries. And then the data is gonna get returned back to Excel when it's done. So if we want to go over to NetSuite and take a look at what's happening, we can certainly do that. So you want to go to uh, Setup, Integration, and then Web Service Process Status. And when you get there, you'll see all the jobs that are being submitted, and you can see that they're processing, et cetera. So for those of you that are technical and you want to see what's happening in the background, you can go ahead and look there. Now, the key is these are asynchronous jobs. So it means that you know, more than one job could be submitted at the same time. And then the results will be written back to Excel when they're done. So this little number two right here is indicating that there's two jobs in progress. You can click on up jo upload jobs. It'll show you what's happening, um, give you some estimated times as to when we might be expecting something. NetSuite processes the data as fast as they can. And when NetSuite's done, uh, it'll let our application know and we'll download the results. So here again, you can see in NetSuite that uh, three of the jobs are done. Uh, there's a fourth one processing and a fifth one pending. And that data sometimes takes a minute to get over to our application. So there's the third one there. So the real beauty of this approach, again, is that you don't need to sit here and wait. You could actually even close your computer if you wanted to. And then you can come back when uh, you want. You can even close Excel. You can see here that the first set of data was completed. And now you can see that both of these batches were completed. And if I navigate back over to the sheets, I could just go ahead and click on the download icon. And that's going to write in all the results uh, that were sent up to NetSuite, success messages, failure messages, et cetera. So here you can see that we've created um, nine different sales orders, um, all returned green in success. And lots and lots of lines in each one of those sales orders, by the way. And then we can come over to journal entries and we can click the download icon. And we're going to see the results of this journal entry. Now, keep in mind, this was almost a thousand lines, 900 and some odd lines. So to create this in a NetSuite UI uh, would be really, really difficult. Um, there was 920 rows. So that entire journal entry was pushed up to NetSuite as well. So there's a quick look at burst mode. We really worked hard in this and we hope you love it. Thanks for watching.